Hey, if you are actually changing your tire right now, go ahead and skip to the chapter that's called how to actually change your tire. Kudos to you and good luck. So one of my goals with this channel is to share information that I wish I had known at some point in time, whether that be last week, a couple months ago, or in years past. Which brings us to today, where we will be learning how to change a car tire. All right, story time. Once upon a time, like six months ago, I was driving to school, I was a commuter in college, and I had a flat tire. Naturally, I just decided to go to class and ignore all of my car problems, but unfortunately my class was only 50 minutes long and I had to face reality soon after. It was the middle of the morning and everyone I knew who could help me change a tire was busy. And a storm was a brewing. I was screwed. Literally, there's a screw in my tire and it was not holding any air. So of course, I took matters into my own hands. At first, I tried to use this nifty tool that my dad makes me keep in my car. It has some jumper cables, a pressure gauge, and an air compressor so you can pump up your tire, a light, some charging ports, and you charge this baby up by just plugging it into an extension outlet. At this point, the pressure of my flat tire was about 20 PSI, and for reference, each tire on a standard car in the US should range from about 30 to 40 PSI. So I was running low. If you don't know what the ideal tire pressure is for your specific car, you can always check in the front door frame of the driver's seat. Here you can see that mine is 33 PSI. I pulled all of the tools out of my trunk that my dad graciously left for me, trying to figure out what I could possibly use to help me fix my problem. Then I flipped through my car manual to see if there was some insight there. Then I took it to YouTube where I had to watch multiple videos and piece together the information I gleaned to figure out what I needed to do. Hence this video, which is hopefully comprehensive and most likely inaccurate. I have a Nissan Rogue, which I love dearly, but this information should be pretty standard for any US car. Don't panic. All the tools you need are in your car. Mine are right here in the side panel of my trunk. All you're going to need for this ordeal from left to right is a jack, a deep socket wrench, and a hubcap remover tool. Also, a friend for emotional support always helps. If your tires have a custom lug nut, you will need a wrench adapter. I found mine in my glove compartment. This is just a safety measure so someone with a generic wrench can't steal a tire or four off your car. Start by inserting your wrench into a lug nut socket. Depending on your strength, you may need to get a little creative with how you loosen your lug nuts. You want to loosen the lug nuts while the tire is fully on the ground so you have some friction against the road, but don't take the lug nuts off completely yet. Check out the instructions on your jack to see where you need to place it. You should have some notches under your car by your tire. You can open and close or raise and lower the jack by turning this little knob. I didn't need to remove the hubcap to take my tire off, so I just used the removal tool to give me more leverage with the jack. Now that your tire is off the ground, you're going to go ahead and completely remove all of your lug nuts.
Next, you're going to finally get your spare tire or your donut out of your car. Make sure you unscrew this little cap holding your spare in place. The first time I changed my tire, I really expected the spare to be so heavy, so I spent so much time and energy pulling and trying to lift it when it was really just bolted down to my car. Once you replace your bad tire with the spare, screw your lug nuts back on, but don't tighten them all the way. Again, we want to use the friction between the tire and the ground to our advantage. Lower the jack all the way down and tighten off those lug nuts. Make sure these are secure because you don't want your spare falling off your car. And after this, you are done. You are officially a tire changer. Be safe and I hope you feel like you can accomplish anything because it's true.